you are here with prophecy unfolding where bible prophecy is truly unfolding with all these crazy things that are happening in the world many people ask the question what is going on is there something sinister happening are people withholding the truth of what is going on all around the world and i came across something on joe rogan's podcast which blew my mind and i wanted to share with you i've condensed it down to a short three four minute um video which will actually open your eyes to hear the truth even people of the world are kind of starting to tell us what is going on and as believers in christ we're always looking at prophecy and looking at what's going on in the world to see can we see the correlation between the two and are we truly in the end times and these are the questions that i ask like always i ask you to do three things like always watch it in its full to get the full context and see for yourself and remember to like this to share this with as many people as possible what i want you to do is to answer the question are we truly seeing the signs of the end times and Christ coming back? Let me know in the comments. Have a listen to this. And you're also seeing now, this is a weird one. I was watching this uh, clip that I saw on YouTube of Tucker Carlson on Tim Pool's show talking about aliens. And he's talking about it from like a, like almost like a religious perspective. He's like, I think what they're essentially saying is that there's like, he was talking about good and evil. See if you can play, find the clip. Based on a fair amount of evidence that they're not aliens. They've always been here. Um, and, I, and I do think it's spiritual. That's, that's my view. So, and, and again, it's not provable, but based on, uh, on the evidence, I think. I'm with absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, if the U.S. government has, in fact, had contact, direct contact with these beings, whatever they are, I've already told you what I think they are, and has entered into some sort of agreement with them, which is which is the claim of, of informed people, um, I would say, whether they're right or wrong, I can't say conclusively. But, but, yeah. but, but wait, wait, wait. if that is true, I mean, it's a very, very, very heavy thing. Yeah. Are you, well, a lot of people say well, interdimensional well, beings. Right, I, I want to ask, are, you, are you angels and demons, or how would you well, describe these, these beings? You know, I, these are, again, I'm getting into the realm of conjecture, so I just want to say that flat out. Entity? But one thing I know for a dead certain fact, having seen it, is that um, there is good and evil that we are being acted upon at all times. And I think every person can feel that in himself. I mean, there are moments when you are moved to do things that are much better than you actually are, and that are also more evil and destructive than you actually are. You are subject to forces from outside yourself. That is absolutely true. Now, we can argue about what they are, but every person in the room, if he's reflective, will tell you, yes, I know what you're talking about. And so there are forces that are not human, that do exist in a spiritual realm of some kind, that we cannot see, and that when you think about it, sort of make you think we live in an ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> being, yeah. Right? And Absolutely. that's just, that is real. Yeah. Okay. When I, and there's, that might be what's going on. A lot of the talk of like angels and devils in the Bible and good and evil, that it actually manifests itself in physical form, and we don't know what it looks like because we haven't seen it but when we do see it we think it's a ufo so we think it's from another planet but it's really just evil or really just good so it's angels and devils but when you hear a guy like tucker carlson saying that he like what else do you know bro Tell, say say what you know like what what makes you say that because if that really is what it is that would make sense to me why the government would keep that information from people because if we found out that people were essentially just a vessel of souls and that we are essentially designed to give birth to artificial intelligence and then that will be the end of us so that's why they're not worried about nuclear war that's why they're not worried about the environment that's why they don't give a f about anything this is all well, coming to an end we're there yeah like we have it and what these uaps and ufos that are appearing in greater numbers and being reported by all these fighter jet pilots and all this, maybe what they're doing is they're witnessing the farmers who are coming by to watch their creation give birth to this thing, which is them. Which and would which be AI. Is AI, which is an, an artificial, not artificial. With the artificial is the wrong word. A new form of life. A life that is not based in biology and breeding through sperm and cells and eggs, but instead completely technological and able to self-reproduce and able to create its own version of itself that's far superior to the one that initially created it. And that it would constantly do that. And that's what the universe is filled with. That what we are, we're just this f caterpillar 
that's making a cocoon. We don't even know we don't even know what we're doing. And we're going to give birth to this butterfly. And that's what the whole human race is about. And that's the sinister aspect. That's what good and evil and all these different p things playing off against each other is that we need this constant competition. We're always searching for utopia, searching for that meadow we can retire in. But it's like this strife and this struggle is what makes us continue to push society further and further until this thing is born. Always remember, guys, scripture tells us exactly what's going on today. Many of the scientists of the world will try to give their reasons and explanations, but Bible and scripture and prophecy really have laid out the foundations of what is happening and what we see truly happening. And I believe we're very, very close to the pinnacle, which is the return of Christ. This was just a little eye-opener, just to show you how even people of the world, people that aren't what we would call believers in Christ, um, are actually seeing happening and what they believe it is. And even they think something spiritual what is going on something almost biblical regardless of what goes on in the world guys remember god is always in control and keep the